Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show you uh, something called here called Fix Simulator. Um, I've been playing around a lot with uh, Fix um, and uh, been experimenting quite a bit, uh, talking to, um, I'll call him Mr. FPGA, about which projects to work with for potentially executing via uh, on an FPGA board. Now there's not a lot of open source fix uh, libraries out there. I mean oddly tonight we've got Fix8 happening which is a great uh, project. Um, the um, situation with that project is that Mr. FPGA looked at the um, library for Fix8 and there's just a few too many dependencies that may uh, complicate trying to uh, embed that library or project onto an FPGA board. So um, I've tasked him to take a look at the C++ implementation of Quick Fix. And I'm going to show you maybe that in another video, but that may actually work because it doesn't have a lot of dependencies. So I'm hoping uh, things are going to work out, but in, in, in the end of way it works right now for as I'm moving into this battle of the strategies I'm needing something to sort of simulate a market um, environment a stock market environment and I've looked at a lot this one I'm going to show you called fix, uh, fix simulator is built around quick fix um, and obviously here it's using quick fix J for the implementation of that now I know about this uh, project due to the uh, pretty well famous algorithm uh, webinar demo put out by Stuart Cozzolo over at MathWorks with his uh, MATLAB al automated trading demos through two different webinars. This is one of the solutions that he uses instead of using something like a more obviously a more expensive solution like trading technologies. But this is probably the next best solution for those that really don't have $1,100 or $1,200 a month to burn. So this fix, fix, emulator, fix Simulator may be the answer. Now it's relatively well documented um, here uh, as well as, um, let me just show you. So we have a user's guide, a thesis, um, and uh, this, this may do the job. So you can obviously download the code uh, using these two different um, projects. The Fix Simulator is actually the um, the uh, server component, and then Bonsai is the buy side uh, component or client. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I've got two each each application running. So I'm going to set up the uh, simulator first uh, with the double action of this uh, double monitor. Um, it's it's pretty simple to run. So let me just uh, been playing around with it. it works seems to work okay, um, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that because that is a rare commodity. Now I'm not a big fan of Fix, but this is just for testing and development purposes only. Um, so we have our server uh, up and running. It's listening, uh, and now I'm going to load up the Bonsai. So it's now uh, connecting, the client's connecting, the server sees it on the um, on the, uh, the server side of the Vic Simulator, blah, 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 blah. So let me just uh, expand that puppy. Now, the cool thing is, let me just get around this here. Uh, the cool thing is, is that you can set up, I'm going to start her up. Okay, so it, it, they are talking to each other. Uh, I guess these are the heartbeats uh, between the two applications. Now, um, it looks like it's simulating uh, different uh, um, different uh, data, as you can see here, um, and uh, all, all good. Now, the other thing is, this is just uh, simulated uh, data. Now, this is great for uh, testing my own um, applications or my own strategies. Um, right now I'm just kind of experimenting to see how this works out. So let me just put in some orders here. Um, can't even remember some of the order, uh, some of the instruments. So I don't know, I'll do this Avnet or let me, yeah, let me just do this Avnet AVT. Okay, 
So what you'll find is uh, there's the load, or sorry, the um, orders. Uh, there's no orders. Here's some of the data, this IOIs. So I'll put an order in, what was the AVT um, by market? Um, yeah, I'll do a limit order, I don't know, of 10. Do a quantity of 10 uh, and submit. So now you got a green, you've got a, uh, an order here, it's been received. Uh, now I'm going to, let's say, uh, cancel it like you could have in a typical um, environment or the, the exchange uh, cancels the order. So you'll see it's 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 no longer green. So um, let me just uh, put in another order in there and see what happens here. So it's received that order. Um, so I'll acknowledge it. I guess it didn't get that. Um, so so let me just uh, maybe highlight one of these and I'll execute it. Uh, so how many did I do? 10, 10, let's see, let's see if that worked. So receive, receive limit. So I think I'm in order now. Um, so I'm gonna do a, try to do a sell here. Uh, submit it. And uh, okay. So it's got the sell. So I'll execute that sell. Now remember, because we have source code here, um, we can, of course, uh, we of course can, um, we can uh, have full control over this. So we have our, our simulated data, as you can see. I can have as many of these bonsai sessions as I want. Um, and uh, it looks pretty good to simulate these um, orders. It's f it's a full on, uh, a full on, um, a full on uh, simulated environment, which is really good. Uh, I'm using uh, Fix 4.2 as a protocol, so that's not bad. Um, and um, you know, it's a great way to learn about the stock exchange because, as I said, we have. Um, the source code, uh, this is going to be really powerful to have as, uh, you know, as a, uh, here's the source code here, the Java files. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be good to have now. I can just try to figure out how to implement this into my um, strategy from MATLAB. And uh, obviously, I am working with uh, Java. But the cool thing about um, MATLAB is I can both generate jar files uh, for Java as well as, um, uh, um, you know, doing all this fixed stuff. So it's looking pretty good. Um, just wanted to let you know what's happening uh, with this. Uh, this is not a bad environment to play with and hopefully I'll have something working. Uh, who knows? But sooner or later, <laughs> talk to you later. Let me know what you think.